Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in for another one of my TIFF 2012 film reviews. This is my review of Michael Winterbottom's film Every Day, which I saw this afternoon. Um, I'm going to have to give this one a negative review. Uh, for me, this film was a dud. Um, this film was not bad in terms of directing or acting. It just, to me, the plot, the storyline, the pacing, it was just completely pointless and boring to me. Um, the director, Michael Winterbottom, was there at the theater. I've been very lucky, actually, because pretty much every screening I've gone to, the director has been there for Q&A or introduction or whatever. And he was talking about how this film took five years to film. It was filmed over the course of five years. And what it's about is... Um, a husband who's in jail and its effect on the family. That's the basic uh, premise of the movie. Uh, the husband is in prison and the wife, him and the wife have four kids, the oldest of which is maybe 11 or 12 and they're all they're all pretty young. When the film begins uh, the youngest one is like maybe two or three and they age over the course of the film because uh, as he said it's been filmed over five years. So anyway the the film is just to me, I mean, it consists of her basically dragging the kids on a bus, on a train, on another train, and maybe in a taxi to go see Daddy in jail, and, um, you know, visits with Dad in jail, trying to keep the bond between, you know, the father and his kids going, um, you know, struggling, struggling to keep the family, you know, unit alive. Uh, the woman is, you know, she's sort of a wafy type, doesn't really say much, long-suffering, uh, you know, willing to do anything for her man kind of thing. And, um, you know, she, she works, you know, takes care of the kids, it's, you know, it's, it's hard, it's tedious, and the movie was tedious, and, um, you know, and I really had difficulty find, finding sympathy for the woman in this movie because it wasn't like she was a welfare mother living in some tenement or some housing unit, some really like, you know, shithole, you know, in, in the city where, you know, there's drug drug dealers and fucking murders and all sorts of stuff going on. No, she lived in the in the country in this in this very nice little house and didn't seem to have any problems paying her bills and and, you know, the, the main, her main thing was, like, dragging these kids back and forth and and trying to keep the connection, you know, with their dad and, and stealing a few moments with him from time to time and stuff. Um, basically, that was the whole movie. Um, she works in, um, well, it didn't really show her working too much, but uh, they showed one scene. She's working in this pub. And this guy shows up, and, you know, they're talking. He's like, what are you doing this weekend? So it's like they had a little, like, you know, thing going on, right? And one of the most ridiculous scenes in this movie, I was, like, rolling my eyes going, what the hell? Was finally the husband, at the end of the movie, the husband gets out. Like, and we never do find out why he's in prison either, like, what he did to get in there. Uh, but I guess whatever he did, it was a five-year sentence, you know, whatever, so whatever. But um, anyway, he finally, you know, uh, like through the course of the movie, he gets out for, you know, a day pass, so you know, a weekend pass and shit like that to spend time with the family. But most of the time they're going to visit him in jail, right? But anyway, so he finally gets out at the end of this movie after all this fucking, you know, going back and forth and, you know, oh, I love you and, you know, this and that. And uh, so they're in bed, you know, lying in bed one night, and she's kind of like wistfully gazing off into space, and he's kind of dozing. And then she turns over to him and says, you know, I got to tell you, uh, while you were away, I was like with somebody. And I'm like, are you fucking serious, you stupid, dumbass bitch? Like, how dumb do you have to be, really, to not keep that to yourself? You know, I mean... What's the point of telling this guy? I mean, I really think the only scene, the only reason the director included that movie, uh, that scene in the movie, was to add a little bit of kind of high drama. Because, of course, he freaks out. He's like, well, what are you talking about? Who was it? And blah, 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 this and that. So he's getting really pissed off. And, you know, you see the kids in their beds and you hear him screaming through the wall and shit like that. He doesn't beat on her or anything. But, I mean, I just thought that whole scene was so fucking stupid. And I was saying to myself, you dumb bitch. You know, like, why in the hell would you bring, why would you tell him that, you know? 
after all this, you finally get this guy home, which is what you supposedly want, and then you try to fuck things up by telling him this, you know, like, dumb. But, um, anyway, so at the end of the movie, they're all happily together, frolicking on the beach, and uh, everything is, you know, hunky-dory. But, you know, I just, this film just did not do it for me. Um, I just couldn't really, couldn't really feel much sympathy for the characters. I mean, the kids are really cute and everything, especially the really small ones. Actually, for me, the kids were really the only interesting thing about this movie. Um, and it was funny because he was saying that the, the four of them, they were all kids from the same family. I forget their names. Damn it. Um, something Kirk. They were all, their surname was Kirk. So, you know, the, the Kirk family from the UK or whatever, let them, let him borrow their kids for this movie. And, um, you know, it was really sweet. Like some of the scenes where they're visiting him in prison, you know, like the kids would just be like normal kids. Like they'd have a cut on their face or something. And he'd say, where'd you get that? And then the little kid's face would just crumple up and cry like any normal kid. And, you know, really sweet and natural and everything like that. That was the only thing about this movie that I really kind of enjoyed. But, I mean, you know, the you know him and her and her, like, you know, dragging the kids back and forth endlessly. And, and when, I can sum up this movie with one gesture or one sound or whatever. And that is, I can't tell you how many times these people, ki oh, I love you, uh, goodbye, I love you, honey. I mean, every two seconds these people are kissing each other. You know, I mean, it just, I don't know why it irked me, but it was, like, getting to me after a while. I'm like, Jesus Christ already. So, um, anyway, I cannot give this film a good review. I did not like it. Uh, I thought it was pointless, meandering, uh, not really of any great significance uh, as far as the message is concerned. Um, the one thing I remember him saying at the end of the Q&A was somebody asked him again why he made it or, you know, why he decided to do a movie about a guy in prison. And he's like, well, I wanted to explore, you know, if fathers are able to, um, you know, keep the connection with their kids. Not necessarily if they're in prison, but if they're away a lot, if they're traveling. So I sort of got the feeling he was kind of talking about himself, you know, if he has kids or whatever. And he, I mean, he's a filmmaker. He's probably travels all over the world. He's away a lot of the time. So I guess this kind of subject was on his mind and he decided to make a movie about it. But to me, um, just didn't work. Wasn't entertaining, really. Uh, like I said, it wasn't a bad movie in terms of, you know, directing, acting, but just like, you know, the plot and everything. You know, this world did, would not die without this film being released. So I cannot give a thumbs up to uh, Every Day. I will give it a thumbs down. So, I'm only seeing one movie tomorrow, but it should be a rollicking good time because it's Berberian Sound Studio, which sounds wicked, crazy, wonky, wacky, you know, just bizarre, right up my alley, in other words. So, anyway, I will get back to you and give you a review on that one after I see it. Okay, toodaloo.